Breaking here at Weaver's Way, Chestnut Hill. Yeah. This is our official ground. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've been, uh, Chestnut Hill and Weaver's Way have been working a long time towards this, and uh, we're very excited to have visu visible progress. We're very excited to be opening in the not too distant future, in just a couple of months, a few months, several months. <laughs> uh, so next week. Is yeah. That's right. Yeah. Um, so without any further ado, I want to introduce uh, General Manager Glenn Bergman, who's going to say a few words. All right. Glenn Bergman, here you go. Well, it's very impressive to see everybody here. I have to, uh, first of all, I just want to thank the 3,600 members of Weaver's Way who have supported the co-op for so many years. Uh, the board, some of the members of the board of directors are here. You can raise your hand. Thank you very much. when this store closed and asked us to come here. And that really is what helped push us into Chestnut Hill also. Uh, I want to thank Jay Goldstein, who three years ago told me in his office that we should come to Chestnut Hill, but then I had to go out and spend money to get a market study to tell me the same thing that he told me. <laughs> so thank you, Jay, and also all the There's a list, a list of people there's Fran O'Donnell, who's the head of the uh, business association. Fran, are you here? Who I went and had a cup of coffee with and asked him, is it okay if we come up here? Uh, John Ingersoll from the cheese shop. And I had met with him almost a year ago uh, at dinner and uh, told him we were coming. Russell from Killian's and the entire Killian staff. who also, I believe, owns uh, Intermissions, who is a developer, who was the first one to try and get us to get away from West Mount Airy, now down at uh, East Falls, who also walked up and down the street with me. Uh, Dick Winston, I don't know if you're here, our architect. There he is. Dick. That's him. And Bill Collette from our office, but Dick's been a member for how many years? 137 years. <laughs> <laughs> but Dick has been up and down with us in many different projects on a lot of different roofs at Chestnut Hill, from McGarrity to Kurtz to this one. Uh, Bob Kaufman, who's here, who's our project director and also a longtime member of the mall. Uh, Paul, Paul Roller, who owns the Express and Rollers, who I, and who I used to cook. After he left the commissary, I worked, worked at the commissary, and when I came up here, Becky. Uh, like the first day that we walked in here as owners, Becky gave us a big hug and thanked us for uh, coming to the neighborhood. Um, the entire Chester Hill Business Association staff and members, uh, Richard Snowden, who, uh, who actually uh, was very nice and... And, uh, and that guy. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> Bob Elfont, who uh, many nights in the middle of the night would call, we would call to each other around 12 o'clock whether or not we had a deal here or anywhere. <laughs> and it's also nice that Bob is moving, Elfont with the Hicken is moving also here to the avenue. Uh, our suppliers who are, have supported us in the good times and the bad, but also who we are here to also uh, help with all the local suppliers that we buy from, the farms and the local people who produce food for us. Now, we would not be here if it hadn't been for a couple of people. One is TRF, the Reinvestment Fund, for believing in us also and helping us through this and providing great funding with the city of Philadelphia uh, through gap financing. And uh, we wouldn't be here without them. Uh, PIDC, which this week has uh, offered up as a, a loan also at low financing, which has been really wonderful to have their support. Valley Green Bank again for their support uh, in making this happen and helping us through some of this. Uh, CNS, who owns the building and turned around and gave us a loan. Um, the Merchants Fund and Pat Bailey, I don't know if she's here. Patricia Bailey. The Merchants Fund that came forward with a, Blakely, I'm sorry, with a, with a grant of $50,000 to help us redo the entire facade. And if you haven't seen the picture from, uh, from uh, Dick's office, Take a look at the new facade that'll be out here with windows all the way down the side. So we can open up uh, the store to the avenue. Um, 
We also have a grant from the state of Pennsylvania to put solar panels on top of the roof of $55,000. It's a matching grant. I just came from Springside School. I don't know if anyone was there for that, but they just turned on their 90,000 kilowatt solar panels. It's the largest, I think, in the city or in the state. state. In the state. state. Wow. So that just turned on today. We hope to turn these on uh, as soon as Ed uh, Hillis and Domus and uh, Eric get the, uh, the place finished. Um, <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> But we would not be here without the support of the person right behind me, and that's Representative Dwight Evans, who, um, besides this store, the whole story about the uh, financing of markets in the city and in rural areas in this country started with a bond here with working with the Reinvestment Fund and the, uh, the Food Trust, but it's his vision of bringing markets back to the city and uh, if it hadn't been for his vision that we can do this uh, and his support both at Arbery Arboretum for us with our farm over there and the support at Ogans for the small store that we operate there, we wouldn't be where we are today and I really thank him for his support. Right. I had to thank my wife. Somewhere, I don't know if she's here, who works over at, uh, at uh, Children's First down at CHOP and uh, for the many nights of uh, not being around. And, uh, and I just say to the community of Chestnut Hill, we look forward to uh, opening this store sooner than later, believe me, and being part of the community. Thank you very much for your support. said to Glenn before, uh, this is not my money, it is your money. So I want to make that very clear. And I said to Glenn, it's important. Uh, Jerome Parker talked about it, Donna Reed Miller, Marion Tasco, Leanne Washington, all of them working together. So we work together as a team. When Glenn talked to me about, in terms of Ogans Avenue, uh, the, the farm that we're doing at Martin Luther King High School, what's interesting this week is this is Farm City Week. The Secretary of Agriculture was in town because we're building farms over at Martin Luther King High School. Uh, and the reason the secretary is in town today is talking about the importance of agriculture. We all like to eat, right? We all like to eat. So this is what we're doing here today. So I'm glad to be a part of that team that I mentioned here, working with Glenn. I told Glenn I know nothing about buying produce, know nothing about construction, but whatever you need me to do, I'm here to help you. Thank you again. <laughs> Uh, two, two new employees of the uh, of the co-op. One is Kim Spellman Hall, who will be the manager of the store. I also want to introduce Tom, who many of you might know as the mayor of Chestnut Hill. Uh, we met with uh, before we bought. The, I think it was before we bought the store that we wanted to hire him to be here for customer service and uh, to help us. So. Thank you. Before we actually break the official ground, uh, I wanted to in invite uh, the, the head of the business association, Greg Welsh, to say a few words because uh, the, the whole community and the, and the business community and the, uh, the residential community has been very, very welcoming to us um, and it's really made this a, a, a great process and uh, we look forward to it continuing to be so. Thank you. Actually, back in 1972-73, um, I was one of the original members of Weaver's Way. And I remember getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning, picking up a truck, driving down to the food distribution center, bringing food back to the center. That was many years ago. On behalf of Chestnut Hill, I'm so happy to welcome you to Chestnut Hill. We have all the businesses. Thank you very much. All right, we're looking up here. Oh, no. <laughs> all right. Awesome dirt. <laughs> <laughs> this could be one silly ass picture. <laughs> 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 <laughs>